This is the Demystifying Mental Toughness Podcast, hosted by David Charlton, and you're listening to this podcast to help you build your own mental toughness, or so that you can support other people or your clients better. Either way, you will learn more about developing this plastic personality trait that all but guarantees that you will perform better and lead a more prosperous life. How are you? I hope you're well. I'm just back from my second break of the summer, this time in Scarborough in North Yorkshire, where I've spent a week with family, with my kids, my wife and uh, my mother-in-law, who lives down in that neck of the woods. I've also had a week in Chester, so it's fair to say I'm quite refreshed now after a nice summer. The weather's been kind to us in the UK as well here, so yeah, there's certainly no complaints from me. Scarborough, well... Speedboat was uh, was on high on the agenda there. Myself and the kids, we went to a nice water park, Alpha Mare. It was really really good fun, as well as relaxing with nice food and the odd beer, and some barbecues. Now a break and what it does for you, it helps you see things very differently. I think the word perspective for me creeps into mind there. So for me. It's helped me just sit back a little bit and think about where I'm taking the business, the podcast, life in general, my poor form when it comes down to my golf, and just my general fitness and and health in that respect. It also got me thinking about recent conversations that I've had with clients too. Now, firstly, I'm going to go with a golfer. So this particular golfer we were enjoying a round of golf together. The round of golf was part of the program where I would see him on the course. We'd chat about various different things related to mindset. We'd look at his pre-shot routines. We would focus on strategies to help him remain present in the moment and obviously maintain a a fresh perspective on the golf course. However, as the, the round went by, we would talk about various different things away from golf too. Now, the subject of holidays cropped up. And when did you last have a holiday? And where was it? And the response I got was, I haven't had a holiday for about five years. Then the conversation continued into, right, okay, so you haven't had a holiday for five years. When was the last time you didn't pick up a golf club? Ah, Probably about five years. Really? We talked about no days off for five years? No. <laughs> whether, it, whether it was just five minutes putting or ten minutes putting in the house, they would be doing that. They'd also be working on their body and their strength and conditioning, which was related to golf. So conversation just went on further and further to, well, how do, how do you switch off from golf? Well, I don't. So... To me, I was questioning at that point, well, can you be fully effective? Can you see things from a a nice, meaningful perspective if you're in it all of the time? It really made me think. And I was asking questions, well, why is it you're practicing on certain days? Is your practice really effective? Is it based on the fact that you're frightened that you're not going to be able to perform at the weekend? Or... On the following day. And this guy was a very, very talented golfer, I've got to say. Now, another situation was when I was working recently with a coach come director of football, someone who has got an amazing work ethic, just like the golfer in question there. 24 7, the football club is on his mind, from the youth teams at the very bottom of the club up to the first team. He'd be doing something, he'd be having conversations with someone in order to improve the football club and the whole operation. As a result, sacrifices would have to be made, missing birthdays, weddings, various different things that go on with their children, lots and lots of sacrifices. And again, I look at this as, well, if you're working 24-7 every day, you rarely have a day off. How do you actually see things differently? How do you seek a fresh perspective? How do you keep yourself fresh? Surely it has to harm your health. Being determined, being motivated, working really, really hard is a good thing. That is for sure. But also physically, 
mentally, it's going to be stressful. The nervous system isn't going to like it. It's likely to mean some poor decisions. That road from A to B, that's never a straight line. Well, in this case, it's going to be a long winding road. And as I say, with potentially a number of faulty decisions along the way. Now, I think one cause of, of this issue is there is a culture, certainly in sport, that you've got to work hard. The 10,000 hour rule is talked about. Then if you look at social media, your YouTubes, your Instagrams, you've got influencers like David Goggins who are putting out these motivational quotes and little short bites time and time again. And when it comes down to athletes, be it teenagers, young people in their 20s, and to be fair, even older adults, they can be very, very impressionable and get drawn into some of these messages about getting up at four o'clock in the morning, about the fact that you've got to work really, really, really hard 24-7, that there's no time for sleeping and all of this stuff. But actually, is this the reality? Yes, working hard, as I alluded to, is a good trait and I work hard. But can you work really, really hard and be effective, be efficient? That's a question for you, I'd say. I'd also like you to consider what is your definition of working hard, your interpretation of working hard. Consider your values, what's important to you. Consider your family history, your culture in all of this when it comes down to working hard. The key people around you, what messages are you getting from them? Perhaps at a conscious level and an unconscious level. Who do you look up to? What do they say about working hard? Really question that. And then something else for you. I'd like you to think about perspective and how do you keep things in perspective on a short-term basis and on a longer-term basis? Certainly for me as a sports psychologist who's registered with the HCPC, well, I get supervision on a one-to-one -one basis as well as group supervision. That helps me think about my work from a, a range of different angles as well as thinking about myself and actually taking care of my needs. Self-care, which again helps me maintain perspective, would include reading books. Currently, James Patterson is my go-to where I'm reading a James Patterson book week in, week out. There's exercise, going out on my bike. There's golfing, so spending time with my mates. Spa days with my wife. And then I like a hike as well up a hill. Then walking the dog. Now the hike up a hill, this gets me back to the golfer. So on the golf course, we're playing a round of golf and we're talking about this stuff, about this commitment, about not having a day off. And I'm asking, why are you actually here today? Why are we on the golf course today? And we couldn't really answer that question for him. It wasn't actually serving a great purpose for him being on the golf course, doing that session. Yeah, he was spending time with me. Yes, he was learning things. But actually, the environment was wrong. It made me really think that he would have been better off hiking a hill with me and picking my brains. And then we could have done various different exercises to be able to help him. So there's actually going to be an offering based around that now for, for golfers, for coaches, for different athletes to get them away from their sport. Keep your eyes and your ears peeled moving forwards. I'm going to be putting an offering out there on a regular basis where I take people, athletes, coaches on a one-to-one -one basis and in small groups for day trips out to the Lake District where we can have conversations, pick each other's brains and switch off from day-to-day -day life from sport so we can seek perspective. Please do, as I say, keep your eyes and ears peeled. There will be some messages in the show notes which point to this. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this episode of the Demystifying Mental Toughness podcast with David Charlton, do check out my website, sport-excellence.co.uk and my online sports psychology resources. The Sport-Excellence website has essential resources for anyone looking to build their own mental toughness or the mental toughness of their athletes or teams. 
or if you want to achieve peak performance more often or optimal functioning. The Sport Excellence website has everything you need to keep moving forward and thrive. So go on, head over to sport-excellence.co.uk to find out more.